welcome again youtubers now in this video i will be demonstrating how you can use a multimeter tester to check a bad electrical connection and i'll be doing a simulation because i really have no issue on the vehicle in terms of electrical problems so i am going to run a simulation so that at least you can have an idea of how you can carry out some form of electrical diagnosis using the multimeter to determine bad connection um, here I have the two wires connected to the multimeter tester and you notice one the black one is at common and the other one is the red one is um, at the point where voltage is taken but um, it can be used to measure other function I don't trouble the the ampere side any at all because I'm not measuring current so I'm just using these two sections of the multimeter right now and the multimeter needs to be set at the buzzing function so that at least whenever we are testing the circuit we can hear a buzzing sound so that we know whether there's a connection or not so the connection will give you a buzzing sound and no connection will give you no sound at all all right so we can listen out for the the connection sound and the, there is no sound when there is no connection okay so here I have an alligator clip that is clipped to one end of the wire and I'm going to search out this wire to see if I have any bad connection on this wire now the other part of the wire is connected to this point right here and it is grounded right here and I'm going to search out the wire to see if there's any bad connection and um, I'm using the multimeter to check that now I'm going to take the other end of the multimeter and then I'm going to switch on the multimeter to the buzzing sound or the buzzing function so here we have the buzzing function selected on the multimeter and we have some form of reading and first you need to check with the the two ends to hear the sound coming from the meter before you carry out the actual test so here we are hearing a sound coming from the meter and here we have a very low resistance reading and this low resistance reading is telling us that if the meter is working properly all right so the other point point where i need to test is the point where the wire is connected to ground and here i am getting some form of reading let me connect it properly here i'm getting a very low reading as well suggesting that the wire is properly connected or so we want to believe so here again this suggests that the wire is properly connected now if this wire is giving trouble and we are getting this good connection from the wire it means that we need to take it another step and that step is to shake around the wire to find out if there is any um, break in the wire that we are not noticing and as you notice there is the wire and it has the, 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 the rubber insulation or plastic insulation so if the wire is broken somewhere along the line you won't know so we need to shake the wire to find out if there is a break in the wire anywhere so that we can know if the wire is actually good or not so i'm going to put back the lead on the piece of connection here where i have the raw wire and then i'm going to shake around this wire to find out if i have any disconnection anywhere along the line and the disconnection will break the sound in the multimeter and will tell me if the wire is good or not okay so we are having some form of break so as i twist you notice this part of the wire is bending more than the other parts so it would seem as if this wire is broken inside the insulation right here and you notice it's giving you a good connection and as i bend it the connection is disconnected so when you're driving if this wire is connected to a sensor the sensor will send a light in the in the um, dashboard telling you that there is a problem with this particular sensor when it is actually not a problem with the sensor but it is actually a problem with the wire itself so it is good when you can have some form of electrical knowledge so that 
you need to not only just use a multimeter to check the connection as you're seeing right now that the connection seems to be good but as you move around the wire you hear a break in the connection and this tells you that the wire sometimes disconnect and reconnect and it will give you that light continuously in the in the dashboard telling you that anywhere this wire is connected to it is giving the, the actual part is giving the problem and not the wire so having some form of electrical knowledge will help you to detect these kind of issues and if you are not familiar with electrical or, or working around electrical wires i would not suggest that you um, do this experiment on your vehicle if you are having a problem of this sort i would suggest that you use a certified auto electrician to determine the problem but if you have some form of electrical knowledge and you want to try and find the problem for yourself you can do a scan to know exactly what part of the vehicle is having the problem and then you can search through the electrical connection at that part to see if it is actually if it, if it is actually a, a um, sensor that is giving the problem or if it is actually a, a bad connection as you're seeing here so as i twist the wire the connection is broken and then as i release the wire it returns so as you drive the vehicle and there is some form of vibration the wire will shake and as the wire shake as in this case you will have good connection and bad connection and this will, will cause the light to go on in the vehicle telling you that something is wrong with wherever this part is connected to so um hopefully this video is of some help to you and it will help you to diagnose electrical problems on your vehicle um, please subscribe and have yourself a nice time.